Very, very slow. Going in for kind of that dual approach through B and Garage, it seems like. Yeah, clearing out towards grass here. Great positioning for Roxy. Will be sought out in just a moment, though. And managed to find both, looking for the third, and all of a sudden, focus. They've all melted away. Lime, though, on that 3k. 1v2 clutch to try and level things out. Picks up that upgrade of a ghost. Tries to walk through that pit, uh, that, that Viper orb, but now knows where the position of this last player is from that focus side. They still don't have time to really go in for that defuse, though, as it is going to be Lime desperately trying to clutch it out, bait out these shots, but the clock has ticked down, and that will let East find that final kill with Easier as Kase takes that pistol. I kind of look to take mid control aggressively. Roxy watching for it, but it's going to be five players walking in into him and line with the sheriff finds a huge opener that's gonna be a vandal that they can possibly pick up here the rest of the team heading for that a side but lime on a 3k once again that sheriff just doing so much damage and now Kiles and yuri alone in a 2v5 tough situation all things considered because this is the buy round of kase focus even find a vandal for themselves. Your boy Lewis, the one to pick that one up. And now looking to play that ball of death. Everyone's going to stick together. Play that numbers advantage overall. And as far as this positioning goes, it's going to be tough for Kase to trade out. Oh no, tries to go aggressive Yuri in this situation, but Kila is with that Vandal able to find two on the trade here. Now a 1v4, 1v3 left to handle, will find another kill, but that will be it as Focus oh, Date. Harbor will, will get that lockdown out of play here, baiting it, making it think that it's going to be a CX kill, but instead the, it does seem like B is going to be that point of contact where they really want left. to go. Already you can see how far Kase have scaled up here. A bit of an awkward interaction, caught with your knife up, but still it's going to be your boy Lewis with two towards the end of it. Getting detained as well, and he has his teammate for cover. Yuri trying to win those four rounds in a row, and all of that, of course, off the back of stealing that anti eco away. Oh, Hunter's very committed to try and find an early kill, but this early aggression from both Lime and Juki is going to be horrendously punished as Keyless is just so aware. Towards the CT side, so pressure now to be put onto Kase as they're looking for the plant here towards the C side and that spike down as well. There's nobody yet. Yeah, they're gonna force out this recon drone to figure out where these players are. Finally, Boo able to find that first blood here, taking down KP. No more smokes for the rest of the round. And Jugi has pushed up here, does spot out the head of Yuri, but not able to connect the shot. So that's once again going to be on the guiding light on the trailblazers, both down now. Oh, it's going to be the Reckoning coming in, forcing Waddle to kind of waddle around here as Roxy finally One shuts him down. Your boy Lewis able to at least find left. the trade, but now it's all down to Lime here. Killjoy versus Killjoy, both the top fraggers. Boy Lewis to play around here, and his CT's taking full advantage, trying to kind of play around this angle. Finds that first kill, has the backup repositions in the corner, and East finally finds that kill, but Lewis still sticking around, still alive. Yugi with the Operator One chiming into Boot, and it's just going to come down to Keyless. It was been phenomenal, but a 1v3 is it's too much. Here. KP finds a kill, and oh, the trigger discipline out of ease. Managing to dodge the turret, but the kills are still coming through on site here. This lurk might be just a little bit too late, as you finally see ease kicking in. Half the defuse already being stuck, and KP might be able to get it all the way here. No way. All this utility and spam coming in. And to focus. They're going to have to back off. Reckoning does come out as well for that zoning potential, as Mini Boo looks to take space here towards site, but it's an aggressive push towards CT. Luckily, that tailwind is propped. Able to get away with this life there. Five Lewis finding eight. the first kill with a share of all things here. There, despite this lesser weapon for Lewis, he's still able to have quite an impact. Once again, you see East try to come in on this left. lurk play. Unfortunately, the spike still hasn't gone down. Killis finds a kill, but immediate trade through coming in. Now the spike, it will have to go down on this A side. No potential for rotation. That's they expect a lurk seven. as well, and Waddle just finds that kill with that perfect timing. Boo, already having done so much over the course of this round, won't be able to do anything else as Waddle. Right? Trying to buy a little bit of time here, but if this omen smoke goes, it's gonna make things very, very difficult. You were able to find that first kill, though Jugi immediately gets a crucial trade. Still two players on the C side, though the shots aren't quite connecting and focused. They take both players down without too much of a trouble getting that plant down finally. Just a little bit of unawareness here for the side of Kase leaving grass completely unattended and then being a bit surprised when you get that backstab coming through. Trailblazer tries to come out here. Boo! Opportunity for two. Can't find anything.
Yeah, now it's gonna be Roxy in a 1v4, get a 1v5, gets that first kill, but the stun is just a little bit too Dead. much to kill. And you, see, you do see that Waddle kind of expects it, able to find a huge kill there, and that will leave the side much weaker. Helix finds left. two before finally being shut down by your boy Lewis, and now the last player tries to push out through CT, will be denied, and it will just be easy. Where exactly this last player is, and... Just isolating these duels, it's gonna be impossible. Your boy Lewis with that rifle wants to keep this from just swinging completely in favor. Now Rolling Thunder invested to boot. Kile is caught by it. Huge headshot coming out of Yugi, and that's gonna leave the seaside completely exposed. Oh, completely exposed. A free plant here for focus and a retake game for Kase. And that's one guiding light just completely with their in towards garage, not able to be utilized. So no information to be garnered with utility for Kase's side. And if you look at this post plant coming out of focus, they're more than prepared for it. Watching every single angle. Finally, Roxy able to find a trade here, but focus, they know how close they are to victory. All they have to do is keep the spike from being diffused. 3v2 situation in their favor. They're just trying to hold on for dear life here. Waddle watching the CT smoke will find the kill and KP will close it out. 13 to 3 for focus. A dominating show on their opponent. They're just walking up to, so he's is not gonna get any of these sound cues. Does get the headshot, but Yugi able to trade it out with perfection. Tries to go for that reswing off the back of that stun, but unfortunately Yuri only able to get one numbers advantage. Still kind of in favor of focus here. Now Lime TPing in. Another player caught by the haunt. Will be trying to desperately stay alive. Boo with the sheriff, but will be denied as Lime just TPs closer and gets that kill in his favor. KP, because they're extremely split up here with player towards drop as well. Roxy able to find that huge opener, but Lime immediately able to trade it out. And of course, poor kill is puts down the cage, but caught by the hods. And Lewis will be able to just spam him through it out completely. And now they know exactly where these two remaining players are. Perfect paranoia to catch them both off guard here. And Lime capitalizing fully to find that first kill. Who desperately trying to fight for his life there. The spam will, however, connect and find that one for one trade. Although it's just going to be even Stevens all the way around. Finally, Roxy taking down KP there is huge. Spike now dropped onto site in an awkward position. Focus desperately trying to retrieve it here, and it will be that perfect smoke from the Viper to enable the exact He's same thing as Focus right now, right? So that's something to keep in mind here for the side of Kase as things do speed up on this push. Yeah, really quick push though. They find that first opener there, but Waddle able to strike back and find two of their own. Now it is going to be Killis in particular farming his own couple of kills. Flash comes through, but he's able to just swing past it. And now get that neural theft down here. <laughs> Lewis on that zip line, just spraying and praying to hit a shot. Connects Stop. it There's back no with way. that right click. No way. And now a 1v2 to try and clutch out. 4 HP left in his arsenal. The angle not quite expected from Roxy though. And uh, yeah, they're just ready to adapt to whatever cost they throw at them. Talking about throwing at them now, it is going to be the push coming through, but they expect it once again, swinging off the back of the flash here, being able to find that first skill that's Bam will connect the second as well onto East. Yuri is still going to be hanging around. And on the opposite side, it is going to be Helix going down. The anti-flash play that doesn't quite work out as Roxy just holding down that off angle will find a kill of his own. Now 3v2 situation. Numbers still in favor of focus. They will be able to retrieve the spike, but where will they go? Yeah, look at this crunch coming through. Who's but the next? problem is numbers. Dimensional drift does come out. Huge backstab potential. And now it's Lime spike alone. Oh, tries to make a play here off the back of that Shadow Clone, but Roxy just oh, ready to capitalize and get the kill. Now, you're, now your boy Lewis watching out with the camera. Perfect concussion enables him to just swing off of it and get that neural theft for some additional information. The flash peak, though, from Lion will enable him to at least get out of, get that trade. Although numbers, they still reign in favor of Kase here. Who are looking to protect this site. It's gonna be that rim on top here. He's finding a kill. Trade immediately comes through and now 2v3. These rounds have just gotten scrappier and scrappier as this first half has gone on. Only two rounds left and the alts come out. Crox here, Showstopper looking for something. Spike though, still initiated. And uh, it's just like that. It's all wrapped up actually. It's like a little gift. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they get the plants, but uh, the Showstopper will get the kill on the planter. And the Nightfall too.
Yeah, very scrappy fight here towards Arcade and Yugi with the Guardian being able to find not the first but the second. However, the flame kicks in from Mini Boo, able to find that kill and also deny that dimensional drift. Now they have control of the spike here. Rolling Thunder in hands of Yuri. They try to go into the smoke, but not ready for your boy Lewis to just be playing inside of it. Nightfall available off the back of that, and that will smoke out this last player. They know exactly where Roxy is. Gonna be more than happy to just this A side as well and towards main and unfortunate not able to get that hunt right off the bat and so just the push as come. they try to crunch them down with this flame coming in yugi just trying to spam out the second player and kill it not going to be able to find anything before being smoked out surrounded on every side it's kills coming through across the board for focus and now a 1v4 for mini boo so it's going to make this execute a little bit more difficult um you do see a boy lewis once again willing to get a little bit aggressive here finds at least the kill for his troubles does a bit more damage but nevertheless will be shut down now two players for this side of Kase uh, at one bullet each. They're just trying to hold on for the push. They do find some value despite 11 HP. It's gonna be ease fighting those crucial kills and now Yugi in a 1v2. Both these players are so incredibly low though. Isolates that first fight, gets the kill and now it's just ease trying to do what he can. Over a strike, forcing Yugi out of position. Takes quite a bit of damage but that corner is enough for Yugi to confirm that kill. Got a Viper's Pit to stave off. At least one big location of the map likely going to be over towards the say side. Once again, it's going to be a trade for trade on that A side, uh, like you mentioned. But Yuri able to bring the numbers advancing back in favor of Focus. Lime baits out the uh, boom bot. Will be able to TP away to safety and force that showstopper out of Mini Boo, who doesn't really have a target to toss it at, unfortunately. However, that does gain Kase that space on the site. At least mm -hmm. they might be able to get that spike down. What? It's taking a long time to plant, I okay? Exactly. Giving a lot of time for Focus to actually get this rotation back through. Then you see Neural Theft comes out. That's all information given. Still, though, that aggressive position from Mini Boo, able to find that timing and net that kill to boot. Lime and your boy Lewis in a 1v. Make that a 2. I was going to say 2v4, but make that a 1v4. It's just down to Lime. Already tagged up by that boom bot, forced off the angle by the paint shells as well. And what, can, what more can he really do here? Tries to go for an aggressive beat, not even able to find the first, though. And a huge round coming out of Mini Boo. He's been kind of. Oh, no. You gotta hold sight first. Yeah, Roxy swaps over to that operator, not able to get that kill, and now that Nightfall giving away the locations as well. Keyless expects that first player not ready for the second, though, and this convergence is too much for these players on Kase to deal with now. He's in that tower area, desperately fighting for survival here. KP, in the meantime, trying to stick that spike, and it will be happening. And but uh, it does seem like focus there. Willing to get aggressive off the back of it, off with that one way. Yugi able to go in for the peak with the operator and gets a huge kill. This V side has been left for retake once again. Only a viper really in the corner and through the spam. It's gonna be a kill for the Molly. Huge kill there. Early advantages found by focus here to try and get them get to match point. Dimensional Drift does come out. Some information found, then Planter as well. The question is, where does Lime decide to exit? It's gonna be right behind a Yuri that's all stunned up. Flash out, flashes his team as well. And now it's all she yeah, divides that up really nicely for a free clean opening for Kase. KP, late swing to come through, punished for it as well. And now Kase look to push back in, but three have rotated here for focus. Flash kick off for Lion here, able to find two kills with a three down, looking for a little bit more, but it's not gonna be him finding the kills, it's gonna be Yuri, in fact, getting the trades, and now Neuro Theft to boot, they know exactly where these two remaining players for the side of Focus are gonna be playing, Lion getting spammed up quite a bit, taken out by that Fragment, in fact, and now it's all up to Waddle, a 1v3 to try and close this one out for Focus, very difficult. Taking some time here. Snakebite for some zoning, but it's all trades for Kase. They have a crossfire as well on site and in towards CT, or in towards main. One to come through. Keyless anticipating the snake bite. Staying focus. Just fully fall back, and Kase speeding up tempo here towards B. 
Oh no, he's okay with the Operator once again. Able to find that first blood, and that's gonna take out the potential of the Null Command from this round. It's gonna be a double peek. Still able to find one is KP before finally being shut down, but Yugi being a menace on the side. Operator is still in hand here, even if that Overdrive is very close to running out. Doesn't know where exactly the look and kill is. Might be that Playmaker of the game. Finds the timing, gets the swing, finds the kills, Ooh. and will be able to possibly get this overtime for his team. Two players left for focus. Waddle and your boy Lewis. Lewis Play finds again. that first one, but now Waddle Spike once again in a 1v2. Oh, a bit of an overcommit there coming Top up from Lewis. Had the hunt and a prowler available. Now Waddle alone. No util to be used on this site either. Down. They know exactly where he is. Still isolates the kill and Waddle for the clutch. 1v2 finds both of them and will get the defuse. Focus, they take the series.